All right. Sorry about that. Now the mic is on. With the, um, That's the off. Engine. That's on. And the propeller has a band range. Does it have a different thrust bearing? Um, hang on. What did I just do here? Because that just likes it. Wait. All the way. Hang on. There we go. Hang on. Major malfunction. Just thankful it wasn't some sort of wardrobe malfunction. All right, there we go. All right, everybody's happy? Okay. What, question? What? So if you have a um, reset uh -huh. and you have a beta range for mm -hmm. your constant speed, yep. do you have a different thrust bearing because you're going in, in the reverse nope. pitch? Nope. Just, li okay, so the question is, would you have a different thrust bearing? What's the thrust bearing in both Continental and Lycoming? It's only for one way. Well, remember, in Lycoming, it's not it's not really both ways believe it or not so you guys did a light combing and you had the thrust bearing for a tractor and you could see that how you had the case which is nothing more than the aluminum and what hit that the crankshaft well it's really in the back right near uh, the first throw is where it rubs right there and then up front you have the slinger ring and you have a little bit of space turn it around and put make that engine a pusher you just turn it around put a different prop on it and the slinger ring the second slinger ring becomes the thrust pretty thin isn't it a little bit scary uh continental has a little bit fatter uh slinger ring but not necessarily all of them it's all it is you're just running off the slinger ring now yeah <laughs> i make the same face <laughs> so you can see they really weren't designed for that so uh you want i would want to be careful but no there's because really it's it's not a bearing that you change it's, it would literally be a different crankshaft, and it's not. Uh, now, Continental does, all the engines I can think of, they actually use a thrust bearing. It's a plain bearing. All right, can I move that? Yeah. <laughs> Justin's like, why do you always look at me? Because <laughs> you're the only one brave enough to say, put that back. Uh, okay, uh, what comes next here? Well, we had the throttle. We had, we talked about the condition lever. All right, so condition lever. That's these positions. Fuel cutoff. Shuts off the fuel nozzles. And when I go into fuel cutoff, what should I see on the RPM gauge? Zero. Just <laughs> what, a little rise in the drop? <laughs> no, come on. Just it dies. All right. Uh, we've got low idle, which would be 51% uh, to 65% for our N1, and then high idle. Uh, about 65, well, that would make sense. 65 to, oh, I'm not even sure. I have 65 here, but that wouldn't match. So just a high idle. So not sure about that one. Uh, my understanding is that some of the older King Airs didn't even have this high idle position. And that the, the high idle position became necessary because the low idle wasn't sufficient to run uh, the air conditioning and the generators and all that stuff. You need to run the engine a little bit higher, so you run up to high idle. So high idle, uh, let me see. And that's where you go for flight, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is condition lever. Will be in high idle for flight. So that's a little bit different than a mixture, right? Because at the same time, it's also controlling speed. So it's almost, oh, I won't use that analogy. It is the idle lever. And then we have the prop control lever. And that has the range from prop lever. All 
Ops, let's say prop RPM, prop RPM. Prop RPM lever. That's of course your minimum to max uh, and feather positions. So max will give us about 2,000 RPM. The min at 1,600 RPM. This is one source. I just read another source. It gave me some different numbers. What numbers would you? 2,000 is right. 2000's right? Yeah, and then reverse is lower. All right. Um, let me see. And then... I don't have a reverse RPM on there. It's the 1900. This is the max though, right? Okay, so, but it's going to start out. So you're going to come all the way back. Well, oops, so we're going to get something. Uh, we talking about, no, we're talking about reverse, right? Well, we, I don't want to talk about reverse. I'm going to talk about feather because that's a whole different lever, all right? Okay, so I don't want to, I did that yesterday and threw, messed it all up. Um, Prop RPM lever settings, just to make sure, from max to min, uh, allow the pilot to select desired RPM. So just like in a regular aircraft, or just a regular, it's a regular one here. Just like in a piston, you can set your RPM exactly where you want it. Uh, let's see, and then we have the feather. Feather position is used during normal shutdown. <coughs> Would I use the feather position to shut down a piston engine? No. In fact, watching that, that last video, it just made me cringe to watch them feather that thing while they were running and just go into full feather. What were they running at? 1,000 RPM? Feathered all the way down to 500 RPM. It's like, whoa, the manifold pressures is going to go so high on that. And uh, that just sounds horrible. Yeah, that's uh, what well, he did it. Idle and then take out power. It just don't do that to a piston engine. At least not mine, please. Uh, feather positions used during normal shutdown. Why would then? Okay, so if I don't do that to a piston engine, uh, and I will say that sometimes you do have to shut an engine down uh, in the feather feather mode. You want to do it for some reason in a piston engine. It's not a big deal. Just reach over the prop pull it back into feather at the same time you pull back on the, on the, and then pull the idle mix back right away. Just shut it down, so. Uh, okay, why then do I want to do, uh, do this on, on a PT6? Or, yeah, we'll use the PT6. Uh, what's that? Okay, so it doesn't free spin. Uh, we can write that to stop. To stop rotation of the power turbine. and the front section, the gear reduction section. Uh, why? Uh, since lubrication is not available. After the gas generator is shut down, down. There we go. Uh, you don't want that running up there without oil. That sounds like a really bad idea. Unless 
your brother-in-law happens to work at an overhaul facility and the two of you can get together on that and you can ruin the bearings and he can overhaul it and got yourself you know how much does it cost that 56 overhaul oh my god wait a minute let's 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 guess this one uh, how much for a PT6 overhaul? I am going to guess that 150,000 sounds crazy. Really? 800,000. 800? 650. Oh, You're closer. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, well, still, that's. Buy Just buy a new airplane. I could buy another one, Cessna 150 for that kind of money. king <laughs> air. All right. I will tell you this, that if I had the money, that's the plane I'd want. King uh air? -huh. Tim, I would hire you to bring me drinks while I flew it. <laughs> <laughs> And you'd be the only block. guy I would trust to fuel it up. You know that? Where's my boy Tim? <laughs> uh, because the PT6 is a free turbine, no stress is on the starter. Well, that doesn't sound right. Um, due to feather. Or should I say there's no additional stress on the starter because it's in feather. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's do some basic operating principles. What about that main governor? Same as all other governors as far as on speed, over speed, and what? Under speed. I didn't hear very many people. I'm a little nervous about that. Oh, should I slow down? I do want to point something out. Note my writing right there. Versus right there. <laughs> I think it gets a little worse as I go along. <laughs> That's because you get to the end of the night and you're like, oh, oh shit, I still have this much to cover. And then you just start ripping through it. Do I? <laughs> Could have said something eight weeks ago. <laughs> I don't have one anymore. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> I take that back. I do. I put in the last class, I had something in there for you guys to fill out to give you, and not a lot of you did that. I'll just leave a note on YouTube. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. I'm going to have her do my. All right. Slow down. Prop is spring-loaded and counterweighted to the full feather position. You know that reminds me of? No. The scene from Taxi when he's taking his uh, driver's test. From Taxi? Have you seen that TV show? Uh, yeah, yeah, Taxi, yeah. When he's taking his driver's test. Which guy? Uh, I don't forget his name. I'd have to look it up. But he's taking the test and he's like, what is the yellow light? He reads it slower. The slow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prop is spring-loaded and counterweighted to full feather. Now that is why we have a Hartzell steel prop across the street on a stand that has an air fitting in the back. What does that air fitting represent on a real plane? Oil. oil. Okay, that's oil pressure. And so you can plug in shop air and it's going to overcome that spring in there, which is pretty healthy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it really is. <laughs> well, we were screwing with it earlier, and it took three of them. We all, we all to, 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 to release the air for the 
They held it. He was bright red. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, fourth person. Uh, well, why not? So the king error. Well, we should spell A I R E just to be very no. <laughs> British. Okay. King error operates in two modes. Constant speed. Which you're all familiar with. And ground fine slash beta reverse. Some interesting points, at least to me. This particular aircraft uses a second overspeed governor in parallel to take over if the primary governor fails to keep the RPM under 2000. Because unlike a piston engine aircraft, which is really not going to necessarily run away, uh, how fast is the gas generator section of the PT-6 running? 39,000. 39, yeah, you start running a prop anywhere near 30,000 RPM. <laughs> so we're trying to hold this thing back to 2,000 RPM. Of course, you have a reduction gear. So uh, Okay, so it uses a second overspeed generator. Generator. Thank you, Governor. in parallel to take over, to take over if primary governor fails to keep the RPM under 2000. How do you suppose it does that? So it's in parallel. What's it going to do? So here you have one governor, the primary governor, and it's supposed to be limiting the whole th the, the prop to 2,000 RPM, but for some reason this thing fails. It's not doing its job. You have a second governor that's in parallel to it that's over here. It's completely separate, but it starts sensing that the prop's going above 2,000. It goes to 2,100, does something like that. What's it going to do? Fuel. And do fuel, what else can it do? It can increase the pitch. How would it do that? Like oil pressure. Do what with oil pressure? It would uh, send oil pressure to the prop to, wait, is it counterweighted or not? We're talking about King Air, so it's a, a dual propeller, so uh, uh, I think all the PT6s use pretty much the same prop. So it would uh, drain oil. Drain oil. It's parallel drain. So you get this picture in my head. This is how I'm going to think about it. Now I can remember it. So you, have a, so you have your main governor. You have your oil line going into the prop. Just tee off into that to a second governor. And all it has to do is not open and everything works fine. This thing senses that it's overspeeding what? Just drain off some oil. So this governor, the primary, can do whatever it wants. The secondary one's going, no, 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 we're draining off some oil. you got to slow down. It would work out. seems like that would be easy enough, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Oops, I don't want to put a V there. Sorry if you already wrote that. But if you wrote that, that means you're keeping up, and I can go faster. All right. Overspeed governor. is preset to 2,120 RPM or no, I put or I have some conflicting numbers I have 106, I also wrote 100 so got to be careful uh, let's see, overseas governor that's a maximum allowed temporarily 
That's fine. Is that is that what the manufacturer says? There you go. Okay. Uh, what if that one fails? What if the first and second one fail? Third governor. <laughs> Controls fuel flow. So there we go. First, second, third governors. So how many governors do we have? Three. All right. If that fails, it go boom. Uh, let's see. Let's end here, but don't run away. <laughs> <laughs>